Okay, guys, we're here again in the open guard. We're gonna focus on some sweeping options from here. And we're just kind of chaining some techniques together. So what we're gonna look at here is some of the reactions that he has and how he starts to defend some of my sweep options. So we've worked on getting to here and now we're attacking from here. Always the thing that I like to do first, especially if I don't have any upper body groups yet, is attack his legs and his ankles. They're just closer to me. All right, his upper body is much further away than his ankles to, to the grips of my arms here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to plane my body over to whatever side I like to control. So I plane my body over, all right? I try to set up both legs, but all of the time, it brings that leg away from me so I get this tripod position. Now, even with this tripod position, all right, it's very strong. It can be very powerful. It's a, a basic situation, but it's very mechanically strong. All right, a lot of times, it's quite as easy for him to defend just to start to pull my legs away, yeah, get away from me a little bit. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna swap our legs over. All right, a lot of the time I get to here, even if he's not connected with his upper body here and he's just kind of standing nice and strong and tall, he kind of pulls that back leg off and I lose the position a little bit and I don't have the hook anymore, I'm just pushing on his hip. So we're gonna change our legs so that I can fit, all right, this top leg back underneath that leg here. A lot of the time, you know, I tried this, I missed the position, I try to go here again and it just keeps stepping off of my hook and I missed the situation. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use that reaction. So if he just comes back here for a moment, no, no, come back in front of me. Yeah, I'm here like this. I go to kick him, he steps away. The moment he steps away, I'm just gonna change my feet over. All right, so I'm gonna swivel my hip out. I'm gonna step this foot on his hip and this leg here's gonna come right behind anywhere that you can contact on his leg. If he's very far away, right, I'm probably not gonna reach the ankle joint. All right, and I'm gonna suck, all right, this ankle up into my hip, just like I was talking about before. Before I was sitting on top of it, all right, my hip right on his ankle joint. This time my hip's like in front of his leg here. So I'm pushing through his hip and I'm gonna chop on his leg here, all right, behind his ankle or behind his knee, wherever I came to sleep. Again, if we can, we control both legs. I might have to pumble both legs inside and whatever side I'm turned down towards, I pull that knee back underneath my body to come all the way onto the top to finish.